worst day of the cruise. It's our final morning here on board Allure of the Seas. We actually only have a couple hours. It's 7 o'clock now. Planning on getting off the ship at 8.30, so an hour and a half left on this beautiful ship. Mm -hmm. We're very sad about it, but we know we'll be back on another ship very shortly. If you're new here, we were volunteering the past four days on Allure of the Seas with Autism on the Seas. Um, please be sure to check out our other vlogs because we show what we got up to this entire cruise while we were volunteering and while we were just enjoying Allure of the Seas. But we thought it would be a good idea to bring you along this disembarkation process. It can be a little bit of a crazy day, especially when we are docked in Port Canaveral. Transportation to the airport is sometimes not the easiest, so we will show you that process as well. So. Yes. Let's go. I'm heading up to breakfast and Jill's going to finish her ship tour. So yeah, I think I will have time to get that finished yeah. and then actually enjoy my own breakfast as well. So we'll show you a little bit of both of our mornings. Let's go. We are docked here in Port Canaveral. It's so sad. There is a carnival ship over there. Looks like the port isn't too busy yet and people have started getting off and it's only 7.20. So that's something to keep in mind. You can get off the ship really early here in Port Canaveral. Here is the crazy morning on disembarkation day in the Windjammer. Currently 7 a.m. and I know people are already off the ship. ship tour is now complete it did not take me that long I just did a full walk tour of the ship so that will be posted most likely after this video so make sure that you are subscribed to our channel to watch that and now I'm headed down to grab my stuff from our cabin go get a coffee from Promenade Cafe and then head up to the Windjammer to eat some breakfast <laughs> Okay, we are completely done in this room. We are heading out and yeah, very sad. Cruise went by so fast, but let's go get some coffee. We are just walking across the top deck and then we're gonna head down to the I forget what it's called. The Bow pub, the pub Bow and, Bow and Stern. Stern. That's where we're meeting all the families. That's where we're meeting the families to disembark the ship. Oh, oh we have another we have a last day trying to be a content creator like my friends. Hello? It's the cruising auntie. The cruising Go like auntie. and subscribe, follow. <laughs> the cruising sisters. <laughs> have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Uh, it's always fun to cruise with Aaron. This is only our second cruise together, but I'm sure there'll be like so many more. We're <laughs> already Friday. That means it's time to get off the ship. I don't know why you're so excited to get off the ship, Aaron. <laughs> I guess we are ready to get home. Five. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Little tip on the elevator if you need to know where the gangway is on disembarkation or port day, this is gangway. So today it's desk five. five. This is what disembarkation looks like on the final day. Actually, there's no lines, which is really nice. Sometimes it can be really busy, so just make sure that you give yourself a little bit of extra time if you do have an earlier flight. Make sure that you get down here so that you can be some of the first people off. But our group is meeting here at the Bow and Stern. And we're all going to walk off the ship together. I have to say goodbye, remember me! Time to head off the ship.
me. Yeah. Number seven is just coming up in the middle of March for me, so I'm really excited. And then Rach and I will be back together end of March for Icon of the Sea. Yes. But let's go take our shuttle to the airport. We'll take you along for that process. Something about Port Canaveral is we are not close to an airport. We're at least 40 minutes away. So it's not the easiest, but we're going to go show you our um, favorite mode of transportation to the airport. Let's head out. We're just gonna go straight ahead to our go kart shuttle. Here are a bunch of different shuttle options, but we're gonna continue on to go port. It's here at the end. The shuttle has just arrived literally within 30 seconds of us checking in, so we are going to head on and wait for it to depart. They assist you with getting your luggage on the bus, and then we're gonna head on, grab a seat, and wait for it to depart. <laughs> all right, for all the people that's getting on board, welcome aboard, good morning. We're gonna head over to the Disney ship because nothing is happening here right now, and we don't wanna waste time. So we're gonna head over to the Disney ship. I think they already have people out and waiting. Let's go grab those folks, all right? I'll keep you guys posted, and I'll give you guys all the information that you need for when you get to the airport. Airport, so that will be a wrap on our Allure of the Seas cruise vlogs. It took us quite a bit of time to get here. Unfortunately, there was a lot of traffic. Our flight's not until 6.47, so we are in absolutely no rush, but we had a great experience with GoPort. This was actually our second time using them. Yes. The first time, first time we used them, we did the hotel before the cruise and then took the shuttle to the port and then the shuttle back, so you can do that whole package. But this time we just needed a shuttle back to the airport. It was super easy. It's very convenient just to have them right outside the port and mm -hmm. then they drop you off right at the airport. And I forgot, it was. It feels like almost like a tour. The bus driver is like keep giving you updates of and things so much passing. information. So much information. Yeah. I forgot about that the first time we used them. Um, but we actually arrived at the airport and they do have a little um, station here for GoPort that you can um, check in to take the shuttle from the airport to the to cruise the port, yeah. on the day of your cruise. So highly recommend them. Um, we'll be probably using them back in June because that's our next cruise out of Port Canaveral if we don't book one before then. But if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. We have so many more cruise vlogs coming. My next one is in March. So we will see you then.